hello good evening so day seven it's our last day um, really excited to have got to this point and, um, I'm gonna be talking about where to next but before I do that I'm going to share one final tip let's get into that final tip I'm sure that you've heard the quote that if you want to to have a beautiful garden you can't have a beautiful garden without planting the seeds and I was thinking about this quote and I thought about it and it's actually it's actually not quite right we can't have a beautiful garden if we don't tend to the seeds after we've planted them and if you go even deeper than that you actually have to like gardening to have the motivation to plant the seeds to then go and actually tend to the garden. Um, so question, what might stop me liking gardening? Not just doing the gardening, but actually liking the gardening. And I thought about it and there's two answers. It's that I don't know how to garden, or I have some belief about gardening that anticipates pain. So maybe by, I believe that gardening is hard work and I'm gonna suffer from gardening. So that is really what fear is, that anticipation of pain or suffering in some way. So to manifest something, we have to have a good relationship with whatever it is we are manifesting. And you can apply this to anything. Um, if, you want good, if you want money, if you want more money to manifest more money, you actually have to have a good relationship with money. I had a really bad relationship with money. You know, when I looked back into my past, money had created a lot of pain in my family. And I kind of had this feeling around money that it goes. So to, to have money, you had to hold on to it. And that sort of energy was really blocking me manifesting money into my reality. Um, you can't become that which you despise. So, you know, if you look at successful people and you feel jealous or any sort of neg negative emotion, you can't manifest your own success. So you have to have um, a good feeling about what you want to manifest, a good, healthy relationship with it. And when it comes to money, it's actually, a, you have to think about it like a physical currency, that it flows. You know, it's called currency because it's meant to flow. It's meant to go in, it's meant to go out, it's meant to, meant to go in. Whereas my money story, my beliefs about money, my fear about scarcity of money was actually causing me to, to hold on to money and block that currency and that flow. So if we go back to the acronym that we had the other day, BEAR, beliefs, enthusiasm, actions, results, if we change our beliefs about something, we increase our motivation to take the action to make the results. And I wanna ask the question, what do you think you would be doing right now if your beliefs were different? So it's a, it's a huge question and I'm actually gonna give you the chance to, to answer it. I'm gonna give you a way to find out because today I opened up one of the exercises in the course that I shared with you last night. So last night I shared with you that I have From Fear to Fierce and what I've got, gone and done is opened up one of the exercises that is about beliefs and it interrogates your beliefs by thinking about the experiences that you've had that you know have had an impact on you in a bad way. So you think about how that experience changed your beliefs and, and what you actually believe to be true about yourself from that experience and about how the world works. So I've opened that up. You're able to go into the link and you're actually able to do that exercise completely for free just to get a feel for the rest of the course, but also to shift because I feel it's, it's a really powerful part of the course. And you know, if you ask that question, the answers will come to you in that, in that exercise. What would you have if your beliefs were different? Would you have more freedom? Would you have more time? Would you have more success? Would you have less stress? Would you be in your dream job or would you be having a business that is successful rather than a struggle or would you be sitting down having that dinner date that we've talked about with your destiny, whatever your destiny looks like? How are your beliefs actually keeping you stuck? 
because some of you might be like I was, you know, yesterday I talked about how my childhood really gave me this um, lack of self-worth, a deep lack of self-worth. And so I didn't actually feel like I was worthy of success. So could you take the massive action your happiness requires if you had a complete 100% full belief that you wouldn't fail if you took that action? And how are your feelings of frustration need, confusion, overwhelm, born out of all of those fears and those beliefs affecting your power to manifest because all, all week we've talked about that energy and how that energy guides your, your manifestation success. <clears throat> so the word frustration, this is quite cool, it comes from the Latin for deception and disappointment, I think. And the word, for me, that word literally embodies the energy of being dangled the carrot of your vision and then not being able to reach it. That's frustration. And for me, back when we were in struggle, I, the only vision I could really see was the success of my business, the miraculous success of my business to be able to earn money to get myself out of that, that financial mess. I had no vision deeper than that. I didn't see, you know, what if I'd have earned a bit more money and actually had residual to enjoy life. That vision wasn't there. I was working inside this box of what I thought would make my business float to make that money business strategies, marketing strategies, social media success plans, and none of that stuff was working. None of it was working. And this procrastination from working on me and me being the real problem was ultimately just a thief of time. You know, I, I will never get that time back. So I want you to ask yourself as you run through this exercise in, in the course that I've opened up, what is your current position costing you? Is it costing you time? Is it costing you money? Is it costing you freedom? Or is it costing you love? What is it costing you? So if we think back to this week, what awareness have you gained about where you are, where you want to go, and what's holding you back? And the million dollar question, how do you turn this information into transformation? Ben Franklin said, I'm not sure if you've heard this quote, but he said the best way to fill your purse is to fill your head. Now, I completely disagree with this, completely disagree. I think that to me, this means filling it with somebody else's answers. When the best answers are right there, already inside your head, you just need somebody to ask you the right questions. So your answers are clouded by those beliefs that aren't working for you anymore. And this week I start. I, I taught you to start changing some of those beliefs by changing your language. And I'm keen to hear who's actually put that into practice, changed a statement, for example, you know, that feeling of lack of worthiness to I am enough. So you've, you've said I am enough and your mind's gone, no, you're not, you know, has, has that happened? Because if it has, then then I guess that's not 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 normal. That's not unlikely because these beliefs that we have are really ingrained. But what if we change the statement into a question? So you see, you should already you should already know that you're capable of anything. That anything is possible. That you can tap into one hundred percent of your potentiality. It's like if you think back to when you were a child and you, you know, people used to say to you that you couldn't do something, what was your instant response? You questioned them, right? You said, why not? Because you had no evidence from past experiences to believe other than you could do whatever you want. Now, like a big supercomputer, now your brain pours through all of those experiences that you've had in your life to find the reason why that negative statement is actually right, why you aren't enough. And that produces a negative thought, which produces a negative feeling, and you manifest the opposite of what you want. So what if we work with how your brain works? And what if we ask empowering questions 
to empower answers that lead to new empowering thoughts to create to create new feelings high energy and access that powerful part of your brain now that is what from fear to fierce does it's all about questions it's not more information it's not even motivation <laughs> you know it's it's not me motivating you on it's me asking you powerful questions and the idea is to get you thinking about where you are so we go into we've we've been into that this week but we go into more detail why are you where you are where do you really want to go and and why are you stuck so if we go back to the garden your vision is your beautiful garden so where, what does that look like what flowers have you planted what trees are there what fruit are you growing and the other the next thing that we we question is who you really are and what makes you happy um, when we're working to our strengths and doing what we love we act with confidence we experience the emotional benefits of alignment and we get this feeling of deep motivating joy so that's us planting those seeds into our garden and what beliefs have got you stuck so we've talked about that the, the part that, of the course that I've opened for you interrogates those beliefs why you don't like tending your garden <laughs> you know what fear has got you thinking or what experience has got you fearing tending that garden um, and we question how to go forward I question you so that you create your success plan your way forward so that's how to do the gardening step by step and do it efficiently understanding your tool and for you right now your most powerful tool is your brain's neuroplasticity so we actually learn about that and, and I teach you this is where the one part of the course where I am teaching but I teach you how to work with your brain so for 24 hours what time is it now 9 p.m. New Zealand time that exercise the belief exercise is going to be open to you to go on in take a look actually do the exercise um, and get a feel for the course um, what I'd also like to offer you as well I was having a think about how much information has been pumped out this week you know it's been huge just so much learning and motivation and realizations and I thought about how I could help you to take that forward so what I've created is a handout with brain tattoos so I think I've used that that terminology before this week the idea of tattooing a um, a statement I guess in your brain so this is a handout with these brain tattoos in a list that you can put up on your office wall next to your bed put them in your handbag in your journal wherever to remind you of the learnings that you've had this week so it's things like the statement we attract who we are not what we want everything that you desire is on the other side of fear um, our bear acronym and what that means um, our pain is the root of our purpose our attention creates our reality so I have put all of these down for you on a handout so <coughs> sorry if you think that's going to be helpful reach out to be my bit to me by messenger so jump in messenger and just ask me and I'll get that handout across to you so yeah that I guess is it um, all that's left really is is to make that decision and it's one decision that I believe could truly change your life and if you're feeling resistance then take that as a good thing because it's likely to be the the decision that is going to be most helpful to you discomfort is the fastest path to growth that should be another another brain tattoo right there if we're feeling uncomfortable about the action there's a massive hint from the universe that it's exactly the way that we should go okay so I'll leave it there reach out to me if you'd like that handout with the brain tattoos and jump on the link from fear to fear and go and do that exercise that belief exercise and, and see how you go with that okay I'm signing out Sunday night ready for another week a 5 a.m. start because I'm back to my welcome to the 5 a.m. club after my flu 
and um, I'm going to really look forward to sharing some gems during that challenge this week, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.